Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh. So today I come up with a new IoT project as you have seen the video. So this IoT project is very interesting. So in this IoT project, we are going to control the angle of the servo motor from anywhere in the world. So this leads to a n number of possible IoT projects that we can build by controlling the servo motor. Suppose you are on a holiday and now you have to give the food to your fish. So you can build the automatic paid feeder using the servo motor. So where you are going to control this auto, where where you are going to control this servo motor and you are going to feed your fish automatically from anywhere in the world. How cool is that? So without wasting time, let's get start and build this project where we are going to control the servo motor using the IoT. So this project is divided into three parts. First is we need to understand the circuit diagram of this project. Second part, we need to configure the Blink IoT platform. And the third part, we need to learn about the how to write the code for ESP32 in Arduino IDE. Okay, so let's do the circuit diagram part first. Now, here you can see I am using the SG90 servo motor and the ESP32 board. So in order to create the circuit diagram, I am using the Easy EDA platform. Now, let's do the connection. So here I am taking the wire tool. Let's connect the ground. to the ground of ESP32. To the V in pin of the ESP32. So this V in pin is nothing but whenever we are connecting micro USB to the ESP32 board that 5 volt of the micro USB will appear here in V in pin. So that's why I have connected the VCC of the SG90 servo motor to the V in pin. Now connect the signal pin to the digital pin 13 of the ESP32 board. So this is very simple circuit diagram. Now let's move on to the next important topic that is how to configure the Blink IoT platform in order to control the servo motor over the internet. Let's see that. So as you can see on the screen, I have already logged into my device. Now if you wanted to know more about how to configure the device, how to add the device and how to create the template how to customize the template inside the Blink IoT platform, then I have created lots of videos on Blink IoT platform itself. So you can go to my playlist and you can watch all those videos where I have posted a lot of things about the Blink IoT platform. So now I will just walk you through the configuration of the Blink IoT platform. You just pay attention here. So Blink IoT platform recently updated and now you will find the template inside the developer zone. So let's click on developer zone and you will find these are the two templates which I have already created, which is IoT based servo control and one is IoT based smart garden and all. So this is our template which I have already created. Now in free account, I am only able to create the two templates. So that's why I have created the two template here and I'll go to the template which is IoT based servo control. Now once you create the template, there are few things that you need to add inside the template. Now what are those things? So first of all, which is very important, that is data stream. So here guys, I am creating the two data string. One is servo pin and the second is servo angle. So what does servo pin do? So this servo pin is basically, this is the pin where we have connected our servo pin. That is like we have connected the servo pin to the digital pin 13. Now here inside the blink, we are using the virtual pin V0 in order to control that digital pin 13 of the ESP32 board. So here I have selected the data type as a double and also the minimum value that 0 degree and the maximum is 180 degree. So this is the 0 to 180 degree rotation servo motor. So this is what I have done. So here I have used the virtual pin V0. So servo angle. So this servo angle is basically, so servo angle is one more data stream which I have created and here I am using the virtual pin V1. Now what we want that we wanted to see that at what angle is our servo motor is at. So this particular data stream storing the servo motor angle. 
So I wanted to see what is the current position of my servo motor. So for that purpose, I have used this V1 virtual pin. So here also, I have used the data type as double and the maximum and minimum value is same that is 0 to 180 degree. These are the two data stream which I have created and this is the most important part of this Blink IoT configuration. Okay, now let's go to the web dashboard. So in the web dashboard, if I click on edit, now here I wanted to control the angle of the servo motor. So for that, I have used here the angle control which is slider. If you can see, I have used this slider. And I clicked on this slider and then I have configured this slider as well. So here I have given the name angle control and I have selected the virtual pin which is servo pin V0 and then the step which I have added here is one step. So that means one degree angle at one degree precision. I'm changing the angles. You can change this as well. Okay. So let's click on save. Now here, as I mentioned that I have already added one more virtual pin that is V1 and that V1 pin is basically for showing the current position or current angle of the servo motor. So for that purpose, I have used the gauge widget from the web dashboard. So let's configure this gauge and you can see I have given the name which is servo angle values and here I have selected the virtual pin V1 which has the values for angle. And once again the minimum and maximum values I have selected and here I have selected the so it will change the color according to the minimum and maximum that is 0 to 180 degree and then click on save. So so this is how you can configure the web dashboard as well. Okay, let's here inside the automation, we can create an automation that if you wanted to notify at certain angle that your servo motor is on, that means you will receive a message or notification whenever your servo is on a specific angle, you will receive that message as well. So as of now, I am not doing any automation in this project. I just wanted to control the servo motor over the internet. So metadata is nothing but this is the data which is related to your device that you are using. So these are the basic two events which are already there or we can also create our own event as well. So these events are whenever your device is online or offline, you will receive a push notification on your mobile phone. Now, in order to configure a mobile dashboard, you need to install the Blink IoT app on your Android or iOS device. It's very simple guys. You can watch my previous videos in order to configure the mobile dashboard. So I am assuming that you have created the template and now you have successfully configured that template by adding data stream, web dashboard, automations and mobile dashboard. The last important thing inside the configuration of Blink IoT platform, which is adding a device to your template that you have created. So how to do that? So if you go to the devices, here you can see IoT based servo control. That means here I have already added the device. But I will tell you the procedure how to add a device to your template. Let's click on new device. As of now, I'm using the free version. So that's why I'm only able to add two devices. So let's click on plus new device and then select your template in which you wanted to add a device and then click on OK your device will get automatically added. Once your device get automatically added, you will also get the device info. That means Blink template ID, Blink template name and a Blink authorization token. This is what you will get once your device successfully added. So now we have successfully completed the configuration of the Blink IoT platform. Now we will see the most important part of this project. So before going ahead, I, will, I have a simple request for you guys. I have seen that so many of you are watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel. If you found my videos useful for you, then do subscribe the channel and like the video as well. So this is the code which I have already created. Now I will walk you through the code and let's just see where you need to do the changes and where you need to add few details. Okay. Now here you can see on the screen that we need Blink template ID and all those things like template name, authorization token. So from where we will get all those things. So if we go 
to our devices and device info then you can see we can get all those data let's copy this thing go to your code and paste it here that's sorted nice here we are using the blink template so here we are using the serial monitor of the blink library which are useful for connecting your esp32 to the wi-fi okay now here comes the important part of this project here i am using the esp32 servo.h library so we know that so we all know that we used to use this servo.h library which is used with the Arduino. so that library is basically you can't use with the esp32 board so esp32 board has the separate library to use the servo motor so how to add this library so just say that how to add this library just go to the sketch go to the input library and click on manage libraries and now here you have to search for esp32 servo as you can see there is a separate library for controlling the servo motor using the esp32 that is esp32 servo let's install this library otherwise your project will not work because i have tried the arduino library and my project got some error so that's why i'm using this library so now i have connected the servo motor to the pin number 13 you all know that so you have to define a variable like servo pin is connected to the pin number 13 of the esp32 board okay so now you have to provide the ssid name and the password for your ssid so here you can use your mobile phone's hotspot or also you can use the 2.4 gigahertz uh, router wi-fi in your home so here i'm using the 2.4 gigahertz router wi-fi in my home so this is the function which is very important for us so blink underscore write v0 now we wanted to write the angle to the virtual pin v0 that means whatever the angle that we are getting from the whatever the angle we are getting from the virtual pin v0 we are storing it into the servo underscore angle so now this is the most important part as you know that we have created one virtual pin which is v0 and there we have defined is like we have defined the minimum value as 0 and 0 to 180 degree now we need to store those values so in order to store those values we need to use this line of code which is param.asint so i have created one variable servo underscore angle is equal to param.asint that means whenever i am going to click on that toggle button then i am going to store the angle which i am getting from the blink rd platform inside this variable nice now the next thing we wanted to control the servo motor so in order to control the servo motor based on the angle given by the that slider widget now here we have this line of command which is my servo dot write with the servo angle now you can see whenever you are toggling that slider we are storing the angle inside this variable so whatever the angle we are getting we are writing that angle to the servo motor with using this command line my servo dot write i hope you are getting it what i'm trying to say even if you are not understood this line of code just let me know inside the comment section and now once again as i mentioned we wanted to see at what position is our servo motor so for that purpose here we have writing the virtual pin v1 the gauge that we have created with the servo angle as we can see here with the servo angle so this will show you the exact position of the servo motor so i hope this part is clear now now let's come inside the word setup so inside the word setup we have done so we have given the standard operating uh, frequency for the servo motor which is my which is using the my servo dot set periods hertz using the 50 hertz frequency we have given and also we have mentioned that we have connected the servo pin to the pin number 13 okay now so this code which is bling dot begin is basically used to connect your esp32 to the internet using the ssid and the password now inside the wide loop there is nothing there is just a simple code which is bling dot run function this function run continuously so this is the simple line of code that we need to write in order to control the servo motor now let i have already uploaded the same code and now let's just see the output 
on the screen so as you can see this is the simple presentation i have created to show that this motor is rotating at an angle let's see now so here i have tried to use the geek servo you can use the sg90 servo motor as well it's very simple just use the sg90 servo motor as i'm having this connector for this servo motor so that's why i have used the geek servo motor here and let's go to the device and it shows that your device is online okay nice this is started working now as you can see on the screen i am just giving the angle as you can see here the servo motor is turning so this is the, the, the control is very smooth as you can see as i can able to use it the control is quite smooth you just have to give the angle also you can control it slowly by giving one degree precision you can see i'm just giving the one degree precision i'm just giving the one degree input we can able to control the angle very smoothly now so now i will give you few project suggestion based on this thing so we can build the automatic pet feeder using the iot based servo control method that means we can build some mechanisms where we can add our fish food or cat food or dog food inside it and then we can control our servo motor from anywhere in the world and then we can able to so then we can able to feed our pets from anywhere in the world so if you found this project useful for you then do subscribe the channel like the video press the bell icon see you in the next video thanks for watching